A little while ago now, I released Proto V3, uh, the latest update for my big uh, distortion and glow and high energy text and like a master plugin <laughs> thing for DaVinci Resolve. A general overview will be in the description if you wanna check that out, if you don't know about it at all. But if you do know about it, this video is for you because I wanna show off a few sort of like next step tips and tricks to how to use Proto throw on one other little cool thing in Fusion and get something get something really exciting. We're also gonna show off um, a system that has been added since the full release. So if you only saw the big headline when Proto came out, um, there's some new stuff I'm gonna be showing off, as well as just going uh, in a little deeper to a few controls here in the inspector um, that uh, really have a lot of power, but like you need to be explained a little further. Let's get started. And the first thing I'm gonna show off, um, uh, of course, on these presets, you have these 25 different presets with all these different looks, super cool. Uh, I'm gonna hop over to the Tune preset, uh, and this I really like. It's not as glowy, it just has these like hard edges, kind of like construction paper vibes. But you'll notice the motion is still pretty organic, right? It's like in and out and like, it's just like ongoing motion. When I was designing this look, I actually designed it with one extra step, which is what I wanna show off now. I'm gonna open this in Fusion and then I'm not even gonna open Proto up, but coming out of Proto, I'm gonna add a stop motion node Okay, uh, five on this frame repeat is probably about okay. And now I can go right back to the edit page. And if I just preview that, then... Nah, five's a lot, five's a lot. Let's make it three. Oh, it's also caching. We'll let it cache. We have this like stop motion-y motion. -y motion. <laughs> I did call this tune. To me, this has kind of like a little like kindergarten vibe and that like organic motion didn't fit as well. But hey, toss a stop motion effect on there afterwards. And it feels, it, it feels like a pretty different style right off the bat. Never forget that while you have all these controls uh, to build your effect natively in Proto, you can add anything before or after Proto to customize further. And something like stop motion messing with the timing of this effect can get you like a really distinct look. Let's move on onto video now. If I drop uh, Proto V3, the effect version on here, it looks uh, to every line in your scene and adds Proto there. And that is because in this external source effects, we have edge detect and outline controls. You can always customize these edge detect controls for how sensitive you want this or how thick you want those lines to be. And if I click this over to outline, nothing happens. Uh, that is because this is applied to a sort of full screen uh, a, a video clip here. If I did something like drag on the Resolve logo just here in my window, even like zoom it down a little bit, then if I were to toss on Proto V3 effect, by default, it would look for all the lines, but if I change that to outline, it would only look at the outside line, haha. -ha. But let's go back to this video clip because again, we can do some nifty stuff and it's actually gonna be really straightforward. If I open this in the Fusion page, you'll see now we have this media clip uh, plugged into Proto, but before Proto, I'm going to add a magic mask effect and you see now it's here in between. If I just click on his shirt, we'll probably get his shirt and his head and his arms and make sure we get all his shoes. That's pretty good. And it's even processing Proto as this goes. So you see, we just have that outline. I am just going to preview the magic mask for now so we can process that as it runs through. Now this is processing in 4K, that's my fault. Um, I should have pulled this down to 1080 while I'm just showing this off, but we can fast forward through this anyway. It's just processing Magic Mask. Look how great it looks. This is Magic Mask V2, um, which came uh, to the color page, I believe, in version 20 and a few versions after it came to the Fusion page. Super slick. And once this is done, Okay, that's processed. If we just preview the magic mask, you see, wow, we've got that guy dancing by himself. And if we come to Proto or after Proto or hop back to the edit page, you'll see we have the video of that guy by himself just with this outline. Now, of course, we have a few options. Uh, let's say I still wanna see that background because, uh, sure, I still wanna see that background. I'm just going to take the output of Proto, drag that over the output to media in one, so it comps that back over itself, so now we have the background, now we have him, uh, and we'll just preview this in Fusion for now, and he is perfectly outlined based on that magic mask. That's great by itself, but don't forget, we can always hop back to Edge Detect, and while the initial Edge Detect looked for every line in the entire image, the only thing we are plugging into Proto now is just the guy, so if we hop this to Edge Detect, 
we get every line detected, but only on him. So I'm gonna hop back to the edit page, let this cache um, with this edge detect, and then we'll see what we got. That's cached if we preview. We have this edge detect effect right on the guy, lots of fine lines in his shirt, but it's completely isolated just to the guy. His face looks a little wild, but don't forget, this is all before the entire style system. So if I grab something like this beam effect, then now as he's dancing, we have these lines coming through. This is actually meant to be like beam, like beam me up, like from Star Trek teleporters. So like, that looks cool. You could like fade this out and like do like a custom little effect right off that. Really slick. Okay, last thing I wanna show off isn't quite the same tips and tricks, but will be really useful to anyone who's been dabbling in Proto, especially making their own looks. I am opening right up uh, these style controls and open up the distortion controls. This is subtle, but super important. We have distortion strength, scale, detail, and contrast. Now these contrast and scale uh, and detail are actually based off the fast noise node inside Fusion, which just sort of like generates that random texture. We can hop in and check it out. Uh, I'm going to open up Proto. Also, uh, this is on the other tech, so I'll get rid of that fast noise for now. Open up Proto, and you can see all the way over here, we have one Proto fast noise. If I preview that, wow, we do not see much going on. <laughs> Now, if we zoom in, you can see some really like subtle detail. It'll um, be, be sure I'm hard to tell on the video, but if I make a new fast noise, it's just sort of this cloudy texture and you can see you can pull up the detail, pull up the scale and like the brightness and the contrast to get pretty different looks. And uh, this fast noise going into displace nodes is what makes my uh, general displace effect on all these uh, proto effects. So if I hop back, we can zoom in here and for instance, if I pull distortion strength all the way down, it'll just be straight lines. Even for this example, I'm going to completely get rid of the aura, so it's only the core. So distortion strength all the way down, straight lines. If I pull that back up, and then pull the scale all the way down, straight lines. If I pull that back up, and then pull contrast all the way down, straight lines. Okay, so uh, these controls, if you pull any of them down, it's straight lines, um, but how they work together really gets you this look. For instance, if I pull scale pretty far down, then you get sort of this generic wavy texture, which is going pretty slow here. But if I have the scale down and the contrast up, then we get like crazy looks like this versus if I have the scale up and the contrast down, we get a lot more fine distortion, but closer to the original line, if that makes sense. I know this is an interesting time to be covering this, um, but it's sort of that like next level stuff. If you're interested in Proto, I think you'll really like this, as well as this distortion strength. So especially if I pull this strength down and like the, maybe the contrast up at this point, and then maybe the scale down, then it's like close to those original lines, but a completely different look. How you balance especially these distortion controls will get you wildly different looks. So especially if you want to hop through these presets and see how uh, those distortion controls are set for each of those presets, that'll really get you in the right direction. Um, but it is very easy um, to sort of have most of your effects too big, if that makes sense. You really want to pull this scale up for a lot of fine control and then it's just a matter of like balancing that. And you might need to pull down this strength or this contrast quite a bit more than you thought you would have to, especially if you pull that up and then pull contrast all the way down. Nah, pull that down and pull contrast all the way up. Ha ha ha. You can get some really unique looks. And don't forget, uh, this scale here goes up to 50, but you can always type in here if I type up, why not 500? Boom, uh, it sort of <laughs> goes wild, unless you pull this contrast back down and the strength down even more. Core control, make it really thin. Maybe 500 was a bit. But as you pull this down, uh, you can get lots of lots of fine control. Or if you just want like a little bit of distortion right on the edge, you can get that if you crank these up, but you know, be careful cranking these numbers up to something crazy. <laughs> but of course, it's always fun to mess around with. Now, if you toss on that aura, you'll even see some of that come through as well. 
So there's some proto tips and tricks. I mostly wanted to show off that uh, stop motion effect. And then of course, magic mask working with proto. It's super cool. If you haven't messed around with that, absolutely do it. That stop motion effect will work great with the free version of proto, which has, you know, all of like the text features, but you will need the full version of proto if you want easy access um, to using proto on images and video and all those expanded tools. Of course, like I said, more info in the description. If you want to pick up proto, you can always do it. Um, I, I still think Proto rocks. I think Proto rocks. So hopefully you do too. Hopefully you thought this video was cool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.